what's up guys it's me stanley the production designer for eostra and this is just a little video for you guys to tell you what it's like being a production designer especially on a periodic piece and what i do in the pre-production process what i've done so far and how i've done it so i'm going to give you a little walkthrough a little talk through a little guide onto what i've done why and how so i hope you enjoy and here it is so we start off making the mood world with the title put it in the center of the page quite simple literally just set slash location as that is the mood board that i'm creating here quite simple we just put a few anglo-saxon village images of their houses with the thatched roofs and very very simple minimalistic basic houses can't be too fancy they didn't have much utilities there to create it to be like the houses we have today as you can see inside was very open planned very simple fireplace the kitchen living room bedroom all in one room you see the furniture is very very simple wooden and quite uncomfortable and basic the same over here on the right you can see i've got some images of some totems it's an inspiration which helps me get my vision and my mindset across to the viewers whether that's the crew or anyone else they can understand what i'm thinking and my ideas when it comes to set and location as you can see at the top we've got some runes, some Anglo-Saxon runes. These will definitely play a part in the set and location. And these are all key elements as to what I will be bringing to the set and location. We've also got at the bottom right, some animal carcasses. They are hare and rabbit carcasses. In Eostra, the hare plays a huge part and the carcass is very significant to the village that we are creating. So we will definitely see the likes of these images within our film. And here's the final result. For our second mood board, we have the props mood board. This one's a bit more busier. We have a lot more props on hand. Props you wouldn't even think of. This mood board just highlights just a few and just some of the key props that we're playing part in the film and helps me reflect my view, my visions to the audience that will be seeing my mood board, whether that be the crew the producer, director, anybody involved, anybody that wants to understand my vision towards the film. So you can see we've got some weapons here, basic weapons that were used in the Anglo-Saxon period, especially in the period of our film. The axes, double hand axes, single hand axes, your little knives. As you can see at the bottom there, they're quite handcrafted, basic and dull. As during the 600 AD era, there wasn't much craftsman skills, nor was there technology or machinery to create the amazing weapons that we have today. Over on the right, you can see <laughs> food, if that's what we'd like to call it. Not the greatest looking, but this is the kind of theme and idea I'm feeling to pursue with Eostra when creating the likes of the rabbit stew. Very basic, doesn't look very appetizing. Slop, so you might say. You can see some pots and cauldron. You can see at the top of the big cauldron and the cutlery. These are Anglo-Saxon timed cutlery and pots and bowls that they use or similar to uh, the theme that we are aiming for. Of course, it's very difficult to create a mood board that replicates your identical vision for the film. This is just an inspiration. At the bottom, we have three different types of crosses and the cross plays a huge part in our film especially by our lead character, especially with our totem. And it's quite a symbolic message and it's a very, very important prop. And here is the final result. Finally, we have the costume mood board. The costumes within this film play a huge part to the film. Just like any film, especially a periodic piece, Getting the costumes right so that the, the film looks like it is from that time period is very, very important. Hence why I created the mood board, which clearly describes my vision for what I am aiming for or what I imagine the costumes to look like for Yostra. As you can see, the men and women wear quite similar clothing and outer body garment, as well as the underneath layer, trousers or tights, a simple belt, nothing too flashy nothing too fancy of course nothing like today's attire no fancy jackets leather jackets sparkly diamonds or <laughs> jewelry of any fancy sort <laughs> quite simple quite basic as you can see they've got the 
the hats, the word that I can't pronounce. So I will put it on screen. <laughs> As you can see, the shoes that they wear were handcrafted, very, very simple, made of leather, either lace up or toggles, uh, quite sock-like, slip on, very simple, nothing too fancy. A lot of Anglo-Saxons would wear material wrapped around their calves. This keeps their, their bottoms tight to their body, keeping the warmth in, and it makes it more convenient for them when making travels and journeys. Having the material wrapped around keeps it tight and keeps it enclosed, giving no opportunity, no risk for you, your trousers to get caught on anything. And here is the final piece. So, as you can see, the mood boards that I made really, really helped me in finishing my production design for Yostra, for any film in general, really. The mood board is there not as a replica of what I am intending to make. It's more of a inspiration or a reflection of what my thoughts are going ahead with Yostra or with any film in general. So whatever I have just put on that mood board is there for my peers, for my, my director, my producer, my, my camera operator, for anybody involved, anybody that views it, to understand where my head's at and what I envision the film to look like. That way, we can communicate together and decide whether it's how we want it, how we don't want it. And before we even get to the location and start creating the set, we have an idea already of how it's gonna look. This is what makes the production so much more faster, well planned out and more organized and definitely more productive. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys understand what I do and thanks for watching don't forget to donate and check out all of my social medias and i'll see you in a bit